Welcome to another edition of Pantherism with your host, Steve Struggle. During the month of September, there have been news stories that have covered the forced migration of migrants from the states of Texas and Florida into U.S. cities, such as Chicago, Washington, D.C., and New York. The governors of these states of Florida and Texas have initiated these forced migrations of migrants because of their anti-migrant racist practices and policies. Let's compare this treatment to the treatment of Ukrainians who have been allowed to migrate to the United States through a new program called Uniting for Ukraine. With this program, Ukrainians who claim to be war refugees are able to enter the United States within weeks after applying, obtain social security cards, Medicare benefits, money, food stamps, housing, and job placement assistance. Now, I know of no such program for the native people of the United States. And for those migrants who've been forced to put, go on buses from the southern states to the north, no such program exists like that either. That's very curious. Ukraine is a pro country that practices racism against Russian-speaking people, has Nazi battalions in its army, and has bombed the areas of the Donbass for over six years, bombing schools, bombing hospitals, bombing civilian areas, and bombing local governmental infrastructure. How can we explain the difference? Well, let's be very honest. The Ukrainians are white and they come from a racist country. The people of the global South are not white and their countries don't practice systematic racism. If they do, it comes from the United States. So as the old saying goes, if you're white, you're all right. If you're brown, stick around. If you're black, get back. The people from the global south who are being put on buses are being treated as first class black people, nothing but social scum. People from Ukraine are being treated as first class white people, those who deserve everything they get. Think about it sometime. 